Hi, welcome to FinCast tutorial video on Chroma Keying. Chroma Keying in FinCast can be done with live cameras and it can also be done with video footage. So it could be pre recorded a couple of hours or a couple of days previously, or you may be removing a, the green from a live camera. So, for the purpose of demonstrating today, I'm going to use Rhonda on a green background from video footage. So she does not have to stand there throughout the tutorial. Okay, so we've uh, go straight to our Chroma tab. In here we've got a number of settings for each item in FinCast that can have Chroma King applied to us. And in the studio version it's cameras 1 to 4 or video inputs 1 to 4 and it's video players 1 and 2. In the solo version it's just camera 1 and it's also players one and two. What colors can we remove as color from the background? Well, green being the most used, blue and red. Why would some people use blue? Well, people use blue usually when the subject's wearing green clothing. Some say they prefer it when the subject has got blonde hair, uh, but I personally find green and blonde hair seems to be working okay, at least in thin cast. Okay, so let's get straight into removing. Uh, I have Rhonda already applied to a virtual set. You can find out more about virtual sets in the virtual set tutorial video. And again, the videos are found on our website, fincast.com. Uh, I'm going to simply click the on button. And straight away we see a huge amount of the green has been removed. But I suppose you could say too much. Um, Rhonda's teeth look like she's missing a few because they've become transparent and there's a lot of her hair missing. Simply correct us. Simply go to the gain button. You find you very sel seldom will need to use the cutter. So leaving that at 0 0.5 is pretty much a good idea in FinCast. So I'm going to click the gain button for player one. I'm going to start moving it slightly to the left in small little movements. And there's various movements per each number. You can see I'm still on nine and we can see adjustments changing straight away. Now we're going into eight, about three or four movements. Okay, that's it. That simple, that quickly. We've removed all the green. We have our subject looking completely transparent and ready to rock in your virtual studio. And again, it can be also applied to backdrops. Again, more about this from the virtual studio section in our tutorial videos. So Chroma King, it's a short tutorial because it's incredibly fast to do uh, with FinCast. So again, our website is fincast.com. Uh, let's say thank you for watching. Bye now.